Howdy folks, Zograx here, welcome. No, welcome back, but welcome to FIFA 21. Branching out. I've been wanting to do this for ages. Hold on. <clears throat> so, we are playing as Arsenal, my beloved Arsenal. Um, I have been an Arsenal fan for 25 years, something like that. Um, and uh, obviously the state of affairs right now at Arsenal is a little scary. So, uh, to that end, we're going to see if we can fix it. Um, a little introduction. I have, uh, that's my, my uh, character right there, Zograx Um I'm, I'm working under the assumption that she uh, came through the youth system as a player, got a terrible knee injury, and um, as such... Um, uh, started working on coaching courses and um, after performing really well with the women's team um, and obviously seeing that things were in a bad state of affairs has been drafted over to the men's team uh, to see how we can do so that's where we're at <coughs> um, as far as what I've done so far uh, I have gone in and so this is my, my starting lineup um, <coughs> pretty standard so far uh, I think this is a, a common formation you would see for Arsenal these days. So you've got uh, Alba Lacazette Pepe up front, Sabias and Party in the middle, and then sort of this is you know it's it's like a three four three, um, five two three kind of setup here with the wing back. So Saka and Bellerin, a full back, well wing back, and then Tierney Gabriel and uh, David Lu Luiz. Uh, Tierney, I think. Are we? Hmm. Now, there's a thought. I don't know that we've started doing any development on him, so let me... Let me go Tierney real quick. No, we're not. Because we want to make him uh, good at playing in the centre-back position. Since he'll often be there. He will also play in the, the wing-back position sometimes, especially when we bring in uh, some some st more strength in, the, in that position. And then we just want to make sure that... Um, Oh, he's a long way down, isn't he? I probably could have just sorted that the other way. Anyway, uh, okay, we're working on his left wing position. Good. Uh, I mean, currently he can play there anyway, but it's not not a stronger position for him. Um, so I literally haven't done anything yet, aside from prepping my team. Um, my backup squad is basically all youth players, uh, with the exception of Kolasinac, I think. That's it, right? Yeah, everyone else is a youth player. Um, Runison is probably the, the, the weakest link here, uh, with the, the lowest potential. I know Aluwu looks like he's the weakest link, but he's not. I think he can go to at least 80, so. He will develop into a reasonable, um, squad player. So it's worth keeping in. Pablo Mari as well, I'm not sure about his potential, but, um, we intend to, uh, make use of the, the youngsters here a lot. That is, that is the Arsenal way, after all. Um, I have transfer listed pretty much everyone else who's not in the first 11 and not one of these kids. Um, because I have, I have plans. Um, and let, let's look at those plans. So if we go to transfer hub, okay, this is my, um, this is my short list players I'm interested in and I've already assigned them all to be scouted. Um, the two sort of like, uh, well, two or three. Um, so like, um, uh, uh, like headline signings are, um, Upamakano here. Uh, oh. Apparently the stream is having issues and it dropped. Are we, we back up? I think we're back up. Okay. Um, so Ubmakano is exactly what we need. He is a uh, strong centre back. Um, I believe he's right around eighty overall. So he'll 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 be a first team player from the start um, with <clears throat> very strong potential. This is the kind of player that Arsenal should have been signing. Uh, is kind of the point. Then you'll see there's a lot of like uh, younger players here. So um, 
I'm looking for versatility, people who can play throughout defense. So uh, these guys, um, these, these four, are all capable of doing some work either at center back or in the, the full back positions. Um, they are all very young. So, you know, they'll, they'll be going into the, the rotation on the, the subs bench and in the, the reserve team. Tonali and Kamavinga are the two I have highlighted as potential uh, draftees for uh, Ceballos' spot. Ceballos is only going to be with us for this season unless we sign him. Uh, although I think I can get him for his value. So that, that's worth considering because I think he, he can grow as well. Uh, so if, we, if we're enjoying Ceballos, we can pick him up for his value. No problem. Um, and then we have some more kids here that, that are uh, good potential. But so, I've, you know, I've, I've gone out and found basically more people who fit the Arsenal mold that we're planning on bringing in. And we're going to try and bring in as many as we can of these. Uh, some of them, I think, uh, do have, I think Vagnaman has, yeah, he has a, a low release clause. So that's an easy one to bring in. Uh, but we will, we will see once we get going, uh, once we get our scouting reports back, what's, what's good, what's not. Uh, and then transfer listed, uh, well, I've listed... Like I said, a bunch of players who, <clears throat> they just don't fit into my plans. Because my plan is, when I need to make substitutions, it's going to be from my kids. I need the, the kids to, to be the strength of this team. I need them to grow. Um, now, speaking of kids, I haven't even looked at the uh, my notifications at all yet. Oh, let's look, look at the board expectations here. So overall, uh, win the Europa League, win the FA Cup, finish in the top four in the league. So that's that's intense. Um, more specifically, youth development. We need to get uh, two players younger than 20 with potential greater than the average rating for players currently in the same position. Well, I can tell you, pretty much any of those players that we had listed there are going to fit that bill. So that's an easy fix. And then sign four players in the youth academy, one for each of the four positions. Again, that should be pretty straightforward. Um, as long as we get some good scouting options, we'll be able to do that this season, no problem. Um, Short term here for brand exposure. Uh, go without defeat in seven home matches. I don't think that's in a row. I think that's just seven. That seems like a really low goal. If it's in a row, that's more challenging. Uh, long term, within three seasons, sign four of the best players in the world. So you have to sign four um, 82 overall players. That is more challenging. Um, so for that... Um, we are going to have to save some money, basically, because none of the players I currently have earmarked are over 82. So <clears throat> that, that's one we'll get to. Uh, Continent success win the Europa League. Um, and that's short term. They won that, like, this year, maybe next year. Uh, actually, not next year, because we're supposed to be in Champions League next year. So this year. Uh, domestic success, finish in the top four, win the uh, FA Cup, and then financial get a bunch of short sales so um yeah we, we don't care about the the carabao cup oh i don't know what's called on here um so to that end we will um follow the the uh follow the um 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 um, um what's the word the Arsene Wenger model of just throwing the kids in there i think let's look at our notifications so um we are going to do a friendly tournament, and we are actually going to put our, our main people in here. Uh, this is just going over our things. Transfer market is open. Uh, let's go look at our youth academy. Let's see who we've got. Okay. Immediately, I see we have a goalkeeper who is rubbish. This is not a person worth keeping. He's 51 right now. can only go up to 76. I'm just going to release him immediately. Uh, but everyone else has... Oh, this guy's a 38 overall. Good grief. Um, we'll hold on to this guy. Oh, hey, Fahad. Uh, and, uh, and Talal, welcome. Um, yeah, these other guys I think we'll, we'll keep for now. They've they got potential to, to go somewhere. Uh, Gunver is clearly our, our most exciting prospect here. Um, looks very promising. Um, so we're going to keep all those guys. And then what have we got here? Uh, this is just telling us how we're supposed to do. Set up some scouting things. Um, okay. So next, let's uh, go to uh, Youth Scouts. So we need to hire two more scouts. Um, 
We'll get you. Yes. And we will get. Uh, oh, no, let's get uh, Vasilios. Okay. So, let's go to. Well, he's English. So, let's go to England for the season. Um, anything's fine. Just get me good, good players. Okay. You, sir. I mean, Russia makes sense for you, but uh, I think France is is more of a uh, an arsenal hunting ground. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, Fahad, I am absolutely an Arsenal fan. Uh, I, I said uh, a little earlier, I think before you got here, um, something like twenty five years I've been been supporting Arsenal. Um, back when I uh, lived in England, I, I now live in the United States. A uh, little bit hard to follow over here, but I manage. Um, okay, there goes m even more of my transfer budget. Um, but, you know, this is what we've got to do. Okay, those guys are off. And, yeah, okay. I think we're good for now. Let's uh, let's let's start. And, unfortunately, we have to start with me making a fool of myself immediately by doing some uh, drills. This could be rough. <clears throat> but the better we do, the better our, our players perform. So let, let's uh, yeah, that's about as good as expected. There we go. Oh, nice. This is going way better than expected. Okay, we got an A. We'll never have to do this again. Cool. Uh, next drill. Let's go. <clears throat> why, are, why are Arsenal so bad right now? Uh, whew, that is an excellent question. <laughs> I don't have an answer for that, I'm afraid. I get no credit for that, even though I'm pretty sure I blocked it. Um, I don't, I don't know what the disconnect is because on paper they have a very good team. Uh, they should do better than they do. So it's it's very frustrating uh, as an Arsenal fan to watch how the team has sort of floundered this season and and I mean, really for for several seasons. Um, you know, like, I, I don't understand... Oh, dear. Uh, I don't understand how it got so bad, you know? I mean, was it 15th in the league right now? Something like that? I mean, that's 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 not great for a team that should be, clearly, up in title con contention. That's what the, the board thinks, based on what they've told me here. They think I should be in the top four. And yet, where are Arsenal right now? Uh, well, not in the top four, obviously. Yeah, um, so yeah, it's, it's frustrating. How do we do? Good enough. Next. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we'll, we'll see, um, I'm hoping we'll, we'll see some Im improvement in, in the near future. Um, I, I do believe that Arteta is, is still, uh, you know, I think he's, he's, he's the guy you want in there, personally. That, that's the way I see it. Um, I don't know that that's necessarily a popular opinion, but I, I think he's, uh, I think he's a really good player. Uh, good, well, he was a really good player, and he's a, a very good manager. Like I, th I think, I've, I've seen a lot to be excited about. Uh oh. Good enough. See results. Okay, let's advance. And, oh goodness, we have an off of Calm Chambers. Okay, let's let's delegate this one and just see if uh, they can get closer to the 8 value that was there. Thank you. Uh, those guys are off setting up their things. Oh, and player chats with, oh goodness, everybody. Um, 
I'm happy you're going. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we agree. Uh, I can't guarantee you games. Uh, I think it's the best thing for Ozil to leave. I think most people would agree with that, to be honest. Um, uh, Socrates. Uh, I can't guarantee you games. Oh, uh, thanks, Joe. Uh, excited about our future. Because I am. I, I feel like Will Willock is one for the future, for sure. Uh, oh, it's another training day. All right. Now, the good news is, eventually, we'll... Um, We'll get through this, so it'll be fine. Uh, all right, let's play some more drills. Oh dear. <clears throat> what is this one? Oh, this one. Okay, I'm not too bad at this one. Who have Arsenal got next? Oh dear, there we go. Uh, I, di I didn't... I'm not, not sure who the next game is against, actually. Oh dear. Uh. This is about as much as you'll see of, Ars uh, of Ozil playing today he does not feature in my plans I'm afraid and that's that's one of the saddest things about Arsenal really is 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 the decline of Mr. Ozil because I remember when he was at his best one of the best in Europe I think um, and then it just all fell apart didn't it oh good grief All right, that's an A. Next. Oh, what's this one? I don't like this one. This is why I don't like this one. I'm just not good at it. I'm not a very skillful player just yet. No, I'm going to retry that. This is going much better second time around. Good enough for now. Can always come back and get that later. Pass to the target. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Now, just because it says you have to go to someone in particular doesn't mean you have to go there immediately. And sometimes it's better not to. How do we do? We're going to retry that. I can do better. Maybe I can't do better. Oh, I think that's a B. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Oh, 
Alrighty. I will be glad when I have done everything so I don't have to worry about keeping up with that. Uh, Hoffenheim want Rob Holding for 10. Okay. Yeah, we'll delegate this again. So they said, what, 13? Uh, well, that's ridiculous. Let's, let's say 12 and see if they're willing to negotiate a little there. This is good, because those are players that we're not, not planning on using at all. I mean, I think holding could get a little bit better, but... They're trying to suggest that we should not use Alba. Uh, I think that's nonsense. Uh, I'm going to put in our first team. And we're just going to send this. Um... Okay, good result. Martinelli came on and scored. That's nice to see. Lacazette got a goal. Um, yeah, okay. Excellent result there. No injuries. Even better. Uh, more from the office. What have we got here? Okay, I will accept that offer. Thank you, Rob Holding. Okay, these guys came in with a, uh, a similar... <coughs> uh, oh, that's this is what I need to do. There we go. Uh, we will just delegate this one. And once again, let's just say uh, 8 here and see what we can come up with. Lovely jubbly. Um... And we have another game. Oh, and we have some scanner reports. Perfect. So now we can start trying to buy in all these players we were looking into. Uh, okay. So, I mean, they, they are young, but they are quality. That's the key here. Uh, we haven't got everybody yet, I see. Uh, three days on Upamecano. Okay, let's... Um, Okay. I'm just going to accept this one and we'll see if uh, uh, Munch and Gladback decide to change their offer. Where are we at time wise? About 20 ish minutes. Okay. that right? Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe so. Okay. Um, let's, let's knock out this friendly quickly. Uh, Mustafi, yes. There's someone we want to get rid of. Goodness me, yes. Okay, they say up to 14, so let's do our thing. You know, let, let's ask for 15. And then come back to what they've offered. And, um, okay, Mitchell Glad back off at seven for uh, Chambers. Perfect. Uh, here we are in the Continental Cup again against Dortmund this time. Uh, first team is looking fine for this one. Let's just let them do it again. And we'll just uh, quick sim again. Another win, another goal for Lacazette. Another appearance for uh, Martinelli. That is good to see. <coughs> and we have some more information here. Oh, hello. Bayern Munich want Mesa Ozil. We will delegate once more. That is ambitious. I'm going to ask for 24 here. I don't think I can get that. And then uh, Mustafi, 12.8. Okay, I'll take that. And then, okay, now let's go to Transfer Hub. And so we still don't have any information on him. Let's see. Um, let's see about bringing in some of these youngsters. 
I mean, Tonali and Camavinga are not really youngsters. I mean, they are, obviously. Um, whew, that's a spicy meatball right there. What about Tonali? Okay, so they're both in the 20 to 30 range, and I'm pretty sure we're looking at, yeah, 50-ish here. Now, this is our big target, though. Let's start here. Let's talk to the club and see what we can get. Okay. Let's just offer... I don't know. We'll be vaguely respectful. And just start there. Okay. Now we have something to work with. That is more than we can afford. 15% uh, is a lot. But I don't plan on... Uh, I don't plan on selling him ever. Honestly. Okay, so we're going to go up to 50. And then let's edit the selling clause. And give them 25. Okay, there we go. That was nice. So yeah, I mean that's that's that is our this is the the bulk of our our money right now. But he's going to be a first team starter, so it it makes sense. Uh, I do want to get at least one of these two. Uh, I'm kind of I'm not sure. They 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 seem very similar. Um. So it may just be a case of. You know, figuring out. I mean, Camavinga is obviously younger and already higher rated. Um, I think they both have similar potential. So, really, it's, it, it may just be a question of preference. Um, oh, wow. He's very good value. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see a lot of these players are relatively small money. Uh, Urzi's surprisingly high, actually. Um, okay, yeah, don't even have to pay his release clause. Okay. Um, we're going to delegate this one. Uh, that's fine. Because that seems like a no-brainer. Uh, he apparently is incredibly highly rated. And that's such a good price that we kind of want to get in there before anyone else does. Um, and then really what we need to do is uh, shed some of this this extra baggage that we have and generate some more money. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's Urzi. Uh, let's see, he's 73, has a release clause. Upmakano is currently 80. Okay, that, that I think that completed the scouting for us on our uh, initial uh, players. Um, yeah, Bellingham, I think... He could be one that we want to bring in quickly, too. Uh, holding has been sold. Huzzah! Now, Lacazette is not on the table. Wow, he's only worth 27 and a half. That's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to reject and block for Lacazette. He is not available for sale. No, sorry. Okay, well, let's... let's uh, do some more drills here. Oh boy. He's very nerve wracking. Okay, I'm going to need Lena to just stop coming for everything like that. It's really harshing my buzz. There we go. Good work, Emil. Oh. Just give him a little one in. And then, inevitably, it gets blocked. Oof. 
Um, I feel like we can do better than that. Hmm, that was a nice shot. Much better. There we go. Getting into my groove now. And I'm pleased to see that I'm finding the net a lot more here. Because I haven't found scoring easy so far since I've started playing this. Um... I'm not sure why that is necessarily. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's fine. Next, that was <coughs> timing shots is tricky. Okay, here we go. All right, keep up, camera. Well, that was perfect. I like that one. <laughs> ah, yes. This. So I've played quite a bit of FIFA Mobile. Or Mobile, if I channel my uh, former Englishness. And uh, this sort of drill. Ooh. Ooh. Getting some pretty... Epic lag here. You still with me, computer? Oh, everything froze. Just give it a moment. I'm hearing some very scary noises in my ears. Just gonna let it do its thing temporarily. Yeah, I'm getting nothing from the mouse right now. Nothing from anything right now. Everything died. And let it think. <laughs> 